The story is set four years after Busan fell. All of Korea is now in chaos because of the zombie virus. Jung Suk, a soldier, is driving his sister's family to the last cruise ship leaving Korea. On the way, a woman with a child begs for a ride, but Jung Suk refuses. At the pier, Jung Suk helps his sister's family board the ship, which is supposed to go to Japan. However, a soldier tells him the ship is now headed to Hong Kong. Jung Suk confronts the captain, who orders him to follow instructions. In the cabin, Jung Suk sees a man in a strange, twisted position, indicating he is infected. When Jung Suk returns later, he finds blood everywhere, and his sister's area is overrun with zombies. His nephew has been bitten, and his sister, scared and speechless, clings to her son. The transformation isn't immediate, giving them a moment. Jung Suk tries to pull his sister away, but she won't leave her son. The bitten man turns into a zombie and attacks. Jung Suk uses the last of his pistol's bullets to fight the zombies and escapes. Closing the cabin door behind him, his brother-in-law Jamin returns, and they watch in pain as zombies attack Jung Suk's sister. The camera turns, revealing the passage of four years. Jung Suk and Jamin have fled to Hong Kong on a cruise ship, but life here is difficult. Jung Suk lives in pain, haunted by guilt over his sister's death. Jaemin, on the other hand, blames Jung Suk for not doing enough to save his sister, and both are disliked by the locals. One day, a gangster approaches Jung Suk with a proposition. He wants Jung Suk to return to Korea and retrieve money from a truck. Korea is now a zombie paradise, and the zombies have no interest in money. The gangster has discovered a way to profit from this, sending his men to Korea to collect a truckload of dollars, 20 million in total. However, the men were surrounded by zombies and killed before they could return. The gangster offers Jung Suk half the money if he can retrieve it. Jung Suk agrees, and Jai Min and a few others join him. Soon, they board a boat provided by the gangsters, who take them offshore. They are given weapons and satellite phones before heading ashore in a rubber boat. The ship will wait for them at the dock. After they come ashore, they find a desolate, silent place with crumbling buildings and no signs of life. They locate a car, find the keys inside, and start it up. Then, they drive off to find the truck. Uisu was driving the car, having been a cab driver in the area before the zombie outbreak. Suddenly, they spotted a truck. Jung Suk got out to check it, but the license plate didn't match the one they were looking for. Hearing a strange noise from a nearby corner, Jung Suk, unafraid, investigated. Using the night vision scope of his rifle, he saw zombies staring at him causing him a fright. The group quickly moved on in search of the correct truck. Finally, they found it under an overpass. Someone hidden in the shadows watched them through binoculars as J-Men opened the truck, revealing bags full of dollars. When they checked the driver's side, they discovered a dead driver sitting inside. As Jamin tried to throw the body out, the driver suddenly opened his eyes and attempted to bite him. During the struggle, Jamin accidentally honked the horn. Jung Suk shot the driver, killing him, but the sound attracted a large number of zombies. These zombies were blind at night, but had a heightened sense of hearing. Jung Suk started shooting with his rifle, but there were too many zombies. He climbed into the truck and managed to fend them off for a while. Both vehicles continued on the road and Huisu began to dream of getting rich. Suddenly, someone not far away fired a flare at them, blinding them in the darkness. The zombies saw the light and swarmed. In a panic to escape, they found the road blocked by zombies. Huisu hit some obstacles and lost control of the car. The truck behind them couldn't break in time and crashed into them. Jung Suk was thrown from the truck by the impact, and Huisu was killed. The other three passengers were injured as zombies continued to converge on them. Jamin quickly hid inside the truck while Jung Suk started to run away. On the way, Jung Suk met a girl named June. After getting into her car, she easily got rid of the zombies. A little girl sat in the passenger seat as June drifted and hit zombies along the way, using them as roadblocks. Unable to handle the tossing and turning, Jung Suk passed out. June drove the car under an overpass, where they encountered a large wave of zombies blocking the road. The little girl took out a remote-controlled car equipped with lights and music and drove it toward the zombies. The zombies were immediately attracted by the noise and pounced on the toy car. The little girl skillfully maneuvered the remote control car, 
leading a large group of zombies away. Once the zombies were distracted, June started the car, crashed into a few scattered zombies, and sped away. Meanwhile, Jamin was still inside the truck, surrounded by zombies showing no intention of leaving. Suddenly, an exaggerated advertising vehicle drove by, distracting the zombies. Several armored vehicles parked nearby, and a group of men, who didn't seem friendly, got out. One of the infected men climbed out of the truck and asked for help, but the group's leader killed him on the spot. They then got into the truck and drove away, taking Jamin with them, who had no idea what was happening outside. Jung Suk woke up to find an old man in front of him, Jun's grandfather. At that moment, a woman approached. Jung Suk recognized her immediately. It was Min Jing, the woman who had asked for help on the road. She had survived the apocalyptic environment with her daughter. They took Jung Suk in, and he learned that the old man had been using a radio to send messages to the outside world for help. Meanwhile, Jamin was taken to a camp run by a group called Unit 631. This group had once been a regular military unit, but after the zombie outbreak, they were left behind and became isolated. They turned into zombie hunters, building defenses and scavenging resources from zombie hordes to survive. However, they were worse than the zombies, committing countless atrocities. This was the place Min Jing and her family had escaped from. After finding Jay Min in the carriage, they ripped off his clothes and spray-painted numbers on his body. Terrified, Jay Min's legs went limp. He was then put into a container filled with many naked people, all squatting silently on the ground. Shortly after, the container door opened, and everyone inside was forced out, including Jay Min. In front of them was a coliseum-like arena, with crowds cheering and betting from above. The countdown began, and when the passage door opened, a horde of zombies rushed in. It was a game of zombies chasing the living. Many people were killed by the zombies. When the time was up, music played, and a man in a glowing suit appeared, drawing back the zombies. Jay Min, dazed, survived, and was taken back to the container. The guards threw in a few packs of instant noodles, which everyone scrambled to eat. The leader of the territory was Captain Su, who was tired of this life and contemplating suicide. Suddenly, Suddenly, there was a knock at the door, and one of his men brought him a bottle of foreign wine. Captain Su learned about the truck from his man and decided to investigate. He found the satellite phone in the truck, and while fiddling with it, the phone rang. The call was from the man on the ship. When the people on the ship realized it wasn't Yung Suk, they told Captain Su that anyone who delivered the money could leave the place and receive the same reward. Captain Su, seeing a chance to escape, agreed. On Yung Suk's side, they assumed Jamin had been killed. They decided to steal the truck after dark and drive it to the port to meet the ship. Jung Suk fell asleep and it was dusk when he woke up. They packed their things, grabbed weapons, and set off to sneak into the camp and steal the truck. Jung Suk told June to wait for them in the car. They entered Unit 631's main camp through a secret passage, the same one they had used to escape before. After taking care of one of the guards, they spotted the truck. Meanwhile, Captain Su addressed the crowd in the Coliseum through a loudspeaker, announcing announcing that they had enough supplies and everyone could enjoy the night. He planned to use this distraction to escape quietly in his truck. Sergeant Kim, however, sensed something was wrong. When Captain Su returned to his room, Sergeant Kim was already there, but he didn't find anything suspicious. Captain Su covered the satellite phone on the table with the speaker. Just then, one of Su's men entered the room, unaware of Sergeant Kim's presence. As Sergeant Kim questioned the man, Captain Su discreetly drew his pistol. Sergeant Kim, thinking they were just conversing, left the room without further suspicion. Jung Suk and Min Jing had reached the truck and were about to drive away when Captain Su's men arrived. Min Jing hid in the cab with a gun pointed at her head. When two guards approached and asked why he wasn't at the show, he made a random excuse. The guards mentioned the bravery of a man caught in the truck at the Coliseum. Realizing Jae Min was still alive, Jung Suk rushed to save him. After Jung Suk left, Captain Su appeared. He seemed to know Min Jing, but suddenly pulled out a pistol and shot at her. Min Jing reversed the truck, knocking Su to the ground, and recovered the satellite phone from his body. In the Coliseum, Jae Min continued his close encounter with the zombies. Just as a zombie lunged at Jae Min, it was killed by Jung Suk, who arrived and took out all the zombies. Jung Suk then threw a smoke bomb and rescued Jae Min. As they tried to escape, they encountered soldiers who fired wildly at them. Jung Suk hid to the side, and a zombie jumped at him. Jae Min picked up a rifle from the ground and fired at the approaching soldiers. 
then threw the gun to Jung Suk, who used it to kill the zombie. At that moment, Sergeant Kim, who was hiding, shot at Jae Min, killing him while Jung Suk was fighting other soldiers. Sergeant Kim quietly aimed his gun at Jung Suk again, but just as he was about to shoot, Min Jing rushed in with the truck, allowing Jung Suk to escape. Outside, Captain Su woke up and saw the truck driving away, but he was helpless to stop it. Sergeant Kim and his men pursued them. Jung Suk's truck was soon stopped by a group of zombies blocking the road. As the zombies surrounded them, it seemed they were about to be eaten. At that critical moment, June arrived in her car, pulling up nearby with blinding lights that attracted the zombies. Min Jing also drove her truck through the horde, rushing past. The old man in the truck lit fireworks to further distract the zombies. Both vehicles headed toward the port, but Sergeant Kim's convoy caught up with them, firing flares into the sky to attract more zombies. Jung Suk's truck was surrounded, and as they drove under an overpass, he fired at the glass. The zombies broke through, but Sergeant Kim's car crashed into the pile of zombies and couldn't move. Overwhelmed, Sergeant Kim was consumed by the zombies. After dealing with Kim, Jung Suk used the satellite phone to contact the ship at the port. Captain Su arrived in his car and crashed into June's vehicle. He pulled June out and held her hostage. At that moment, the little girl used her remote control car to crash into Captain Su. In response, Su shot at the girl. The old man rushed to protect her and was shot. Min Jing picked up a gun to fight back, but was shot in the leg. Captain Su then ran to the truck, drove it onto the boat, and envisioned his new life in Hong Kong. However, when he met the gangsters on the boat, they killed him immediately. The gangsters had planned to kill whoever brought the truck, regardless of who it was. With his last breath, Captain Su put the truck into neutral. The truck slipped out of the cabin and got stuck in the door panel. Meanwhile, a large number of zombies began swarming toward the ship. The injured old man was dying, but at that moment, the sound of a helicopter filled the air. The little girl quickly launched fireworks into the sky, managing to attract the helicopter's attention. Young Suk ran towards the helicopter with the little girl in his arms. As zombies, drawn by the fireworks, approached from all directions. There were too many zombies, but Min Jing climbed into a truck and honked the horn loudly, diverting the zombies' attention. Jung Suk finally reached the helicopter with the two children. The girl pleaded with the rescue team to save her mother, but they did nothing. Inside the truck, Min Jing, not wanting to be a burden, decided to commit suicide. However, when she heard Jung Suk rushing forward with his gun, her hope for survival was reignited. She fired wildly at the zombies. Jung Suk reached her, throwing smoke bombs to cover their escape. They eventually emerged from the smoke and managed to escape in the helicopter. Did this story spook you out? Let us know in the comments below. For more horror movie recaps, subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one. Fear awaits you.